How to use VPN on PS4 is the topic of today's video. If you're new to the True Tool Tucker channel, make sure you go down below and hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. I make a ton of PS4 tutorials and they're coming very, very soon. So in today's video, I'm showing you how to use VPN on PS4 and how to set up VPN on PS4. This is a super straightforward video and I go over all the tips and I go over a lot of troubleshooting details as well. So hopefully you'll be able to successfully go and get a VPN on your console. And this is super, super important because it can protect you especially if you're starting to get booted offline and it just protects your IP because it's pretty easy to pull IPs on online sessions nowadays and yeah it's good just to stay protected overall this tool goes over everything so basically to do this we create a network off our computer and it's so easy and I go over the four tips so don't worry just make sure you keep watching now there are free VPNs available but just avoid them Free VPNs can be very, very risky, usually because they're free for a reason, maybe because they're using your data, or maybe for other malicious reasons. So that's why I recommend a paid VPN. The best paid VPN on the market is ExpressVPN. They've got a money back guarantee, and they've got so many other advantages, and there is a link down below, and we're showing you how to use them and install them. So yeah, let's go and show you how to install ExpressVPN. It's the best paid VPN out there, and like I said, just avoid free VPNs, and let's jump into this. So all you need to do is come down into the description or the comments and click on this link simply here and I'll keep up there in this link so you get the latest deals and offers and the best discount so let's go and click on it and now it's taking us to ExpressVPN. So as you can see you all you want to do is go and click on get ExpressVPN and the best part is you do get that 30 day money back guarantee. So click get ExpressVPN and as you can see here you can get the insane deal where you get 15 months includes free free months and you get so many good deals as well so go and buy this or which package you would like. And then all you've got to do is come and click on download and as you can see here this is your activation code which you need to go and copy but you can get it on loads of different devices. And once it's downloaded all you want to do is come and click on it down here. There'll be a Windows security pop up and then it will begin the install and then you'll get this screen and all you want to do is click sign in and you'll get another Windows security pop up and then enter your activation code which I told you to copy a minute ago and go and paste it in like so and then hit continue and then you'll be here and we can go and jump into this tutorial. Okay so we're now on the second part of the tutorial so you've now have installed ExpressVPN and now we, all we're going to do is open up command prompt to set up this wireless network from our computer so come to the search and simply search in cmd now you've got to write here, we actually need to use the administrator version, so right click on it and run as administrator. You'll get a window security pop up, um, unfortunately my screen recorder blocks that out. So as you can see here, we've now got the command prompt and I'll just make it full screen just so we can see everything pretty clearly and I'll probably have to zoom in a bit. I just want to add this quick note, essentially I often reference Xbox VPN essentially because I've made a video similar to this tutorial but I'm now making it for PS4. I made it about an Xbox VPN um, and this tutorial is about a PS4 VPN, it's a very similar process but I thought I'd make it just to show you guys. So yeah, if I ever mention Xbox VPN, I'd mean PS4 VPN as well. But the first thing you want to do is to test that your computer's got the capability of running this. You need to have a wireless dongle. And if you don't know what this is, don't worry, I'll be showing you exactly how to do it. So what we want to do is simply type in net sh and then wlan like so, and then show drivers. This just sees we've got the right thing. Just as you can see, we've got the drive of the wireless LAN card. If it says something like no wireless interface found, you need to go and get a wireless USB um, dongle. I'll put a link down below. They're so super, super cheap in the UK that you can get them for like five pounds up to 10 pounds. And then what we want to do is look for hosted network supported. And you can see, yes, that means we can create a wireless network off of this computer and protect ourselves um, online. Now, don't worry if yours says no. This normally could mean you don't actually have the correct drivers. So if you need to get the drivers, essentially make sure you know the name of the dongle, the Wi-Fi dongle you have if you say bought one. Simply Google that and the name, and then you should be able to put the name of a driver and it should come up. So say if it was like a TP-Link Wi-Fi dongle, simply search TP-Link Wi-Fi dongle drivers and then it should load up the drivers you install them and hopefully should fix it otherwise you may need to get a different wi-fi dongle but if that is an issue leave a comment down below and i'll try my best to help you out with the whole situation and yeah i think that's the main sort of troubleshooting points from here for now so the next command we're going to be running is actually to set up the network so what we want to do is once again type in net sh and then wlan set hosted network mode equals allow just like so and then all you want to do is type SSID, which is going to be the name of your network, um, and then you enter what you want. So for example, I'm going to name mine Xbox example, like so. And then I'm going to go and change the key, which is the password. So for this, it needs to be at least eight characters. So for example, I'm just going to do one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. I probably would make it more secure, but I won't be using this too much and I'll probably make it more secure off a of video. And then you just want to click enter. And as you can see, this is now all been set. So the host network has been set to allow and the SSID of the host network has been successfully changed as I had one before. So you'll get something like this and it should be all successful. Just to add, so if you need to change the password or anything like that, you simply re-enter that command and that will completely reset it. So you can change the SSID, the name of it, the password, and that's how you change it. So if you want to change it, simply re-enter that with the new details and it will update it for you. And once you turn it on, which we'll show you in a minute, it will be all changed. So yeah, that is how, if you want to change it, how you do it. So you've now created the network, but you haven't actually turned it on. So to turn it on and off, all you've got to do is type in the command net sh wlan start hosted network. Now, if you want to if you want to stop it, we would do is type in net sh wlan stop hosted network. So you just replace the start with the stop, and it will turn it off. Then just press enter. And it'll take a minute and as you can see the host network has now started now quickly i actually had this issue when i first made it you've got to make sure your firewall has allowed it um, so type in the firewall so once you've opened up this as you can see active private networks this may be um, blocked often um, by antivirus but you can unblock it and yeah you want to make sure this is both green so you've now created the network but it's obviously still your current ip so now all you want to do is go along to here so i'll just move this away and open up express double click there as you can see, we're now here. So now you can change the IP to where you want it to be. So for example, I'll just show you it's the US um, because then I can definitely show you the IPs change. But another quick note, essentially when you're setting where your location is to be, I'd recommend finding the server closest to you. This will reduce your ping and get the fastest speeds you can. I was just doing it to US just to prove to you this fully works. And like I said before, mine is the closest to East London. So that's why I set it there. But make sure you find the closest one to you to optimize your speeds and to reduce any lag you may experience when gaming on your PS. I do it to your nearest location to get the fastest speeds. For me, it'd be East London, I guess. Um, and yeah, that's the easiest way. So I'm gonna go and turn this on just like so. And it'll take a minute to connect and then we'll be almost there so once it's connected just wait so now we're connected once the vpn's connected you now got to bind the vpn with your network because otherwise it will continue to use the old ip so i've now turned express on so to bind the networks all you've got to do is press the windows key and x and then you want to come to network connections and it will bring this tab up and then you want to come to change adapter options click there so once you've opened up your network connections then you want to come along until you find the express vpn tap adapter Come on here and right click on it to go to properties. Now quickly take note, this is my network. We've created a local error connection star 11. Sometimes it will just say this and don't click on this one, but it will be make more sense. So come here where it says Express VPN properties. And then you've got this here and you want to come to sharing and you want to click allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. Obviously it's the VPN, the protected network. Then you want to do is select the private network connection and then make sure you go for the star 11. Don't just go for local air connection as you see that's got the X and this is the VPN. I would just like to quickly add, you need to go for the one with the number after sort of say star 11 for me personally, it could say like star seven for you. It will just depend. But essentially, you need to make sure it's got the start and the number because that means it's going to the network you have created. If you just go for the, the straight local air connection with nothing after it, that's just going to the general local air connection which has got nothing set up. So make sure you use that star with a number. Otherwise, it's not going to work and the VPN isn't going to be connected to the network you've created. So click that and then click OK. And it'll take a minute to load. And as you can see, we've now connected to it. So now I'm going to go on my phone to prove to you this works. So I'll just prove it to you on my phone. So I'm going to click on settings and join the network. So I'll quickly wait, as you can see, export example, that was what we named it. Click on it there, enter the password, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That'll be the password you chose. Then you just click join and we will wait for it to load. And now it's connecting. Uh, so wait for it to connect. And as you can see, we're now connected and we've got the Wi-Fi bars there. So I'm now going to go on my Safari and we'll just go to Google. As you can see, it's connecting. And boom, that is the protected IP. So I'd probably think how do that's protected? As you can see, I'm in the UK normally, but if I do where am I, just like so, it's then gonna tell us we're in America. As you just saw, my IP has changed and also I'm gonna show you where I am. So if I click that right now, it's fully protected. As we go down, it's a zero zero because we're using a VPN and this will see all work on your Xbox. So when you go into like a party in a game, that is the IP which is shown is the Express VPN. So it's fully protected. Your personal IP is protected. You can't get DDoSed. And if you say did get DDoSed, you can just change uh, the 
you can just change the server on the VPN, Express VPN, and then you're good to go and you can go and connect to another. So now we know your network is working and it's hidden your IP, the next step is to simply go and go onto your PS4 and go and join a network. Now the network is going to be named as what you named it. So for, in this example, for this video, it was named Xbox example. So then I'd go onto the PS4 and simply go on my networks. I'd find the network, which is called Xbox example, join there and then go and play and your IP will be hidden and secured. And if someone tries to DDoS you, your IP is safe. So you could just, if you do get DDoS say, you can just change your server um, on ExpressVPN and then you can go and continue to play. So your IP is completely safe. People cannot try and DDoS you or boot you offline and it's so so safe and it basically allows you to game in peace and it protects you and that's what the best thing about a VPN is it completely protects you and it's so so important to stay protected online because otherwise you can lose personal information and you just have more downtime so if you have found this video useful make sure you do leave a big like I really do appreciate it and subscribe like I said earlier in the video a lot more content just like this coming very very soon so I hope you stay tuned for more content just like this and I look forward to catch you in the next one. Have an awesome day. Peace.